A force of 10 pounds compresses a 12 inch spring a total of 2 inches. How much work is done in compressing the spring 7 inches from its natural length? Let's go ahead and work this out. We'll start by drawing a picture of the spring just so you see what's going on. So this is our 12 inch spring. And here it's at equilibrium, so the force acting on it is equal to zero. So this is zero, this is 12, and this is the natural length of the spring. And then we're told that a force of 10 pounds compresses the spring a total of two inches. So we have a force of 10 pounds, and what it does is it compresses the spring. So this is 12, this is 0, and it compresses at a total of 2 inches. So now we're at 2. And then, so here's our spring. So this has happened, and then we want to know how much work is done in compressing the spring 7 inches from its natural length. So what we'll use in this problem is called Hooke's Law. So it says that the force required to compress or stretch a string by x units is equal to kx. So the force is directly proportional to the amount that it's been stretched or compressed. So we're told that a force of 10 pounds compresses it 2 inches. So f is 10 and k is 2. We divide by 2 so we get k equals 5. So now we have our force function. So f of x is equal to 5 times x, because k is 5. All right, so step one, you use the first sentence usually, um, the initial information to find the force function. Now we have to find the work done in compressing the spring 7 inches from its natural length. So the work is the definite integral, and we're going from 0 to 7 of the force function. So 5x with respect to x. And so this is 5x squared over 2 using the power rule. And we're going from 0 to 7. So I'll leave the 5 halves outside. You first plug in the 7, so it'll be 7 squared minus, and then you plug in the 0, so 0 squared. So this is equal to 5 halves times 49. And if you put this in your calculator, you end up with 122 0.5, and the units here are inch pounds. So inch pounds. And that's it. I hope this video made sense.